This is the Auxedo A501 portable tire inflator. We're gonna review it and we're gonna test it out. We're gonna see how it works for inflating bicycle tires as well as car tires. And if this is a useful device for road cyclists. The nicest feature about this type of tire inflator is that once you set it to the pressure you want, hook it up to the tire, turn it on, and you can actually walk away because it's going to shut off when it gets to the pressure that you have set. All right, let's take a closer look at the unit and the controls and how it all works. So full disclosure, Oxido did send me this inflator at no cost in exchange for an unbiased review. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to put it through its paces and we're going to see how it works. All right, here's everything that you get with the Auxedo A501. You get the device itself. You get a nice carry bag. Uh, it's a nylon carry bag and it does hold everything quite nicely. You get the filling tube, which screws on the top and then connects to whatever it is you're inflating. DC auxiliary cord, and this does not charge the unit, but you can run the unit using your cigarette lighter in your car. So if the battery happens to be dead on this and you have this cord with you, you wanna keep it in your car, you can use the inflator powered by your car. And it does include the USB charger. This is how you charge the battery for the unit. It has a USB-C on one end, USB-A on the other, and then you get several fittings here. These two fittings are for inflating pool toys or I've got a leg pillow that I use when I travel. These are useful for inflating those kinds of things. So this is a Presta valve adapter. This is for some bikes that use a Presta type valve versus the standard Schrader type valve, which you would just screw this on directly to do that. And last but not least, you have your basketball, volleyball type adapter for blowing those up. Let's get familiar with the unit a little bit here. First, let's look at the bottom. This first port is a USB-C charging port. This is how you charge the battery. This is a DC input. This is strictly for the use of this DC power cord for running the unit. It does not charge the battery. This is a USB-A output. This is for charging other devices such as your iPhone or your uh, droid device. You can use the battery in here if it's fully charged as a power bank. All right, let's go into the operation of the Auxedo A501. So I don't know if you can see these too well. That's one complaint that I have is the, the little icons on each of these buttons are, are kind of hard to see, but hopefully you can see them there. So first we're going to start with the power button here. So the power button, you press it and hold it until Things start happening on the screen here and then that comes up. This is your display. This is your battery power right now. We have a pretty low charge. We're going to charge it up soon. All right, then the other buttons here, you have a plus and a minus button, and those are just to adjust the pressure that you're looking to inflate. You can adjust that up and down as you would like. This button up here is simply the built-in flashlight there and then a flashing light and then a quicker flashing light. You probably can't see it, it's too bright in here to see that, but it's a red flashing light, it works pretty well. All right, so in this circle, this is the pressure that the gauge inside is seeing. So if you connect this to a tire, it's gonna see whatever pressure is inside the tire at the moment, it's gonna show it right here. This is where you wanna set the pressure that you would like to put into the tire. Okay, there are five different modes for the unit, and each mode has a maximum and a minimum pressure that you can set it to. So the car mode defaults to 36 PSI, and you can use the plus and minus buttons to change that to whatever you want to inflate your car tire to, to a, a maximum of 50 PSI and a minimum of 26 PSI. If you move to the bicycle mode, it defaults to 45, but you can go as low as 30 or as high as 120 for a bicycle tire. Motorcycle mode defaults to 32, and the minimum is 26 and the maximum is 45. The ball mode defaults to 9 PSI, but you can go as low as 4 and as high as 16. But the preset mode has the largest range. So the preset mode you can go into, you can go as low as 3 PSI and as high as 150 PSI. You can set it to whatever you want in there. Also, there are four different scales or units of measure that you can use. You can use PSI. If you press and hold the mode button, it'll switch to bar. Press hold it again. It'll switch to kilopascals. And the fourth one is going to be kilograms per square centimeter. Depending on your preference or the country you live in, you can switch that as well. And the last function I want to mention is, of course, the most important is how to turn the compressor on. So once you get it set and hooked up to your tire, simply press the power button 
with one quick press it'll turn on then another quick press and it'll turn off so that's how it turns on and off all right as far as the size of this unit it's about seven inches long uh, about three and a quarter inches wide two inches deep so this unit weighs 27.7 ounces so 28 ounces before we do anything, I would definitely charge this unit up fully. You'll definitely want to use a charger that puts out at least 2 amps, 2.4 amps or so. That's what I like to use. It charges everything a lot quicker. Let's plug it into the charging port right here. All right, now that it is charged to 100%, let's take it down to the garage and inflate some tires. I'm going to use the Auxedo A501 to inflate the rear tire on my wife's e-bike. So this tire is a 700 C by 50 millimeter tire. So it's a fairly large tire. This one takes between 30 and 60 PSI. So the hose comes ready to go onto a Schrader valve, which is most car tires and most bike tires um, actually. So we're just gonna screw that on. Just gonna screw that on nice and snug. All right, and now I'm going to turn on the Auxedo. All right, now I have preset it to 60 PSI on the bike mode. When I go to the bike mode, the default is 45. So you just want to change that with the plus and minus buttons. I'm going to run that up to 50, or I'm sorry, I'm going to run that up to 60 PSI. That's what I'd like in this tire. We currently have 75% charge on the unit itself. All right, so now we got it plugged in. I'm going to run a stopwatch so we can kind of see how long it takes to pump up this particular tire. So all we need to do to turn it on is to hit the power button one quick time and it'll turn on. So let's see how long this takes. All right, so that took about a minute and a half, a minute and 27 seconds, and it pumped it up to 60 PSI and it shut off by itself. So pretty awesome. Now, one thing I will say about this unit is because it screws on to the valve rather than kind of snap on, when you take it off, you will lose a few pounds of pressure when you unscrew it because it takes a few seconds to unscrew it. While that's not ideal, what you might want to do is just put an extra few pounds, maybe run it up to about 63 PSI, and then by the time you unscrew it, then you'll, you'll be down to about 60. So we're going to set it for 63. I'm just going to top it off here. All right, and now I'm just going to unscrew that valve. All right, and there we have it. So a minute and a half for a fairly large e-bike tire. Now let's take a look at a different tire. All right, now I'm going to test pumping up a road bike tire. This is one of my road bikes. It takes 700 C by 28 millimeter tires. Uh, so we're gonna flatten one of these and pump it up. This particular tire has a Presta valve. So that's a different kind of a valve on it. We do have an adapter that comes with the Auxedo A501. But what I'm gonna do here is let the air out. This tire I typically pump up to about 100 PSI. This is the Presta adapter. So we just screw the Presta adapter onto the end screw it on nice and snug, and then this part will screw right onto the Presta valve. All right, now we got that screwed on there. All right, so we wanna go back into the bike mode. I had it set for 63 for the last tire, so I'm gonna bump that up to 100. Actually, I'm gonna to go to 105, so that by the time I unscrew the valve from the full tire, it's gonna lose a few pounds. All right. All right, so about a minute and 41 seconds, so a little more than a minute and a half. We've got a nice solid tire at 106 PSI. That's outstanding. Now the Presta valve stands, tends to stay closed a little bit more, but the pressure inside the valve is what keeps it closed. So this is probably gonna hold that 106 a little bit better. All right, so I just let the air out of my, my new Buick car tire here. I got it down to about 10 PSI. I'm going to take a pressure reading here. 10 PSI right there. All right, so now we're going to hook up the Auxedo. We're going to set it to car mode. Set for 36 PSI. I'm going to make that 35 because that's what my car takes, 35. We've got about 54% charge. And we're going to see 
how long this takes to pump up my tire to 35 psi so let's let's go eight and a half minutes to go from 10 pounds up to 35 pounds and this is a fairly large tire this is a 255 55 r20 it's uh it's an suv so it's a little bit larger tire but it's certainly not a truck tire now it was about a pound every 30 seconds or so toward the end there from what i could see all right now i have a couple of playground type balls this is just a standard rubber like bouncy ball kind of thing this is a volleyball so this takes a little bit more pressure so we're going to see how it works on these on these balls now that defaults to 9 psi let's see how low it'll go because neither one of these balls takes 9 psi okay so it looks like the lowest is about four okay so this rubber ball actually says uh, inflate to 1.5 psi so i'm just going to monitor this i'm not going to let it shut off i'm going to um, make sure it doesn't over inflate it and burst this ball so we want to take this inflatable ball like basketball type fitting and that just screws on make it snug but not too tight and then probably moisten it just make that a little bit wet with a little spit or something and gently push that in there all right so now we're at the lowest psi but like i said i'm going to monitor the ball when it feels about right i'm going to turn it off so let's see how this goes <laughs> All right, the ball feels pretty good right there. So this, see, okay, did good there. Now this ball says inflate to four to five pounds. So again, go down to the lowest pressure. We're gonna go to, we're gonna set it to four, moisten the tip and pop it in here. And let's see how this. Wilson, Wilson. <laughs> Uh, it's got a leak. Yeah, this, this one's got a leak, so it's not going to... I'm sure if I had that. Oh, there it goes. All right. Oh, that worked. I think the first time I had it in there in the wrong spot because I could hear air coming out. So that worked. It got up to 3.5 and, and then 4 PSI, and then it shut off. Perfect for pumping up your balls. All right, now I'm just gonna test the power bank feature uh, using the charged battery in this unit to charge up an iPhone. So we use this port here, it's the output port. Let's see what kind of charge we have. We have 100% charge right now on the Auxito and this iPhone is actually at 4%. So we're just gonna plug this in here. All right, we're just gonna see about how long this takes. It is 11.17 right now. Let's plug it in. And you don't have to turn the Auxito on to, to use the power bank feature. You just have to plug something into it and it'll show you the power as it, as it depletes. And we'll see how long this takes to charge. All right, it has been about uh, two hours and we are at 97% charge. So it takes about two hours for the Ozito A501 to charge an iPhone. Okay, my overall impressions of this tire inflator are, uh, this is a, a very nice unit. Um, I love the bright display. I love how easy it is to use. I love that it goes from three PSI all the way up to 150. I do have some bikes that do go up to 120. This is a great thing to have in the car or in the garage in the car. If you have a low tire, slow leak you can get this out and pump pump it up until you get it fixed if you're at home and you got a low tire on your car you don't have to go all the way out to the gas station and wait in line for one of those air pumps you can just do it yourself this is great if you have multiple bikes like i do for keeping your bike tires inflated instead of manually pumping up every tire every time you can just connect this up and set it and forget it let it pump up the tires while you go on to something else take it on vacation take it on one of your bike rides maybe you can help out a friend if they have a flat tire you get it fixed i think it works really well it doesn't take too much time the only things i don't like about this unit are i can't really see what these buttons do the it's hard to see what they are you know not a deal breaker at all because you can see it they're just hard to see what's on these buttons I would make these uh, contrasting 
contrasting symbols on here so you can see it better. The other thing is it works fine and most pumps are just like this, but it would be handy to have more of like a clip-on valve here, especially for Schrader valves, because when you unscrew a Schrader valve, you lose a little bit of air in the process. It's not really that big a deal, but if I'm going to be nitpicky, it'd be great to have like a clamp-on attachment rather than a screw-on attachment. Other than that, I think this thing is great. I probably wouldn't throw this in my bike trunk on a road bike ride but if i've got an e-bike this is really not that heavy you could throw it in a backpack or you can throw it in your rack trunk on your e-bike and just have this along for the ride in case you get a flat so overall i think it's a real nice unit if you're interested in a product like this head over to the website i have it linked down in the description and i have a coupon code on there to help you save some money they just came out with a new A301, which is a inflator. It's a little bit smaller than this one. Might be a little more portable for you if you want to take it on a bike ride or definitely on a motorcycle. Uh, and they have a lot of other products uh, that you might be interested in. All right. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and be sure to check out the description below.